I feel like I got a noose around my neck and I'm standing on the platform. Patrick Pierce was afraid if the Granville judge he was about to go before sent him to jail. I won't be able to get my, my medicine and I'm gonna get sick. And it scares the hell out of me. Mr. Patrick Pierce. It's been one year since Pierce got on methadone to help him get off heroin. A year's worth of pre-dawn wake-ups every day but Sunday for a 26-mile round trip from his home in Walker <sighs> to the Southside Health Center Methadone Clinic on Kalamazoo in Grand Rapids. Their rushes in the morning are getting bigger and bigger. They can't dose before 6.30, so they're all outside the building waiting. They drive in from all over, some outside Kent County, to wait in line outside and in for their turn behind a curtain to get a single dose they have to take right there. Some get to carry future doses home in lockboxes. This is a brand new one here. I wore the last one out. This clinic alone serves a thousand people now, double what it did just five years ago. Men, women, moms, at times with kids in tow. There's just too many people, just way too many people going there every day. But Patrick Pierce is grateful too. The methadone has kept him off heroin, eased painful withdrawal and cravings, helping to heal brain circuitry hijacked by addiction. Even so, Pierce is anxious to taper off. There's people that tell me they're doing it seven, eight years. It's driving me nuts. I want to get off the crap. Sarah Shade wanted to get off methadone too. She remembers pushing for a lower dose only to relapse. I would bring myself down too low and it would be eight o'clock at night and I'm dripping sweat and I feel like I'm dying and I know what's going to fix it. Shade ultimately spent eight years on medication assisted treatment. She's been clean now for 10 and runs unlimited alternatives in Grand Rapids, a drop in center for people with mental health issues. When they say medication assisted treatment doesn't work and then you're like, all you can do is stand there and say 10 years. My, 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 my kids have a mom. I have a job. I help people every single day. It takes time to help a person recover from a substance use disorder. Mike Reagan is with Cherry Health, the nonprofit that runs two of West Michigan's six methadone clinics. Overall, it saves lives. To methadone's critics who say the opioid itself is too easily abused and promotes a drug culture. And I just don't think they know enough about its effectiveness. And we also manage the risks that are there. In the last six months, Reagan says Cherry Health had to discharge 12% of its methadone clients, some for refusing to follow rules, including weekly drug tests, regular therapy, face-to-face -face doctor visits. Methadone clinics themselves are heavily regulated by the feds and state, so much so that records target aid obtained through the Freedom of Information Act show each of West Michigan's six clinics was out of compliance with state rules at some point, usually because they were technically out of ratio, not enough doctors, nurses, or counselors per client. But the state is reviewing those decades-old ratios, questioning if they're the best benchmark. What everyone agrees on, there's not enough medication-assisted treatment available in Michigan. I just want to get off this shit. Back in Granville. Good morning, what is your name? Patrick Pierce. Patrick Pierce was in court on a probation violation. I did miss the appointment afraid he'd end up in jail, okay, unable to access that. his lifeline. I've never missed a dose, every day, over a year now.